Hello. In this video, we're going to look at using a while loop. Now, a while loop is a way to get something to repeat while a test is being passed or a condition is being met. So, for example, if I type while 1 equals 1, and then underneath end while, then everything indented here, so if I said print hello, there we go, then that would just say hello forever and ever and ever. It would be stuck inside that loop infinitely because 1 is always going to equal 1. And you'll notice that we're using the double equals there to mean does it equal. But let's look at a somewhat more realistic way of doing this. Let's say I have a variable called num. You know what, it's going to capitalize that. I don't really care. And num is going to be a value getting from a, an input. And we're going to ask them, what is your number? There we go. So there we have that variable. And, you know, I might type in 5, for instance. Well, what I'm going to say is while num is less than 20, and then end while. So if I were to just run this loop and say print num, let me just be consistent about my naming there, print num, and I have that indented because it's inside that while loop. That's for readability and so that we can follow the logic more easily. So while num is less than 20, well, it's just going to keep, it's just going to keep, um, keep printing that number because if I put in 7, then it's going to be less than 20. Okay, so let's get it to do something a little bit smarter. Uh, num equals, uh, no, that's how I assign a value, like that is num plus 2. Okay? So now, let's say, and let's try and run this code. Okay. I, it asked me the question, I put in 5. Well, while number is less than 20. Well, number is less than 20. So let's run this. Okay, it goes up to 7. Prints the number, which is what I just did. And then it says end while. Well, we're still in the while loop because that statement up there, this thing here, is still true. Because 7 is less than 20. Okay, then we go to 9, still true. 11, still true. 13, still true. 15, still true. 17, still true. 19, still true. Now, it will then go through, and because 19 is still true, it will then add 2 to it, and it'll add 21. And then once we get to 21, it'll go up here and it will fail this test. So then it comes out of the loop and it runs whatever is next in the program. So that's how we use a while loop. I am going to show you something here, um, which is a really common use of the while loop. And I just think it'll be useful for you to know since you're here in the program. So let's say that I want somebody to enter a particular value. You know, I want them to enter Mr. O'Mara or Mark or whatever. So. What I'm in fact going to do is I'm going to set a boolean, and so my boolean I'm going to call is valid, is valid, and I'm going to set it to equal, uh, assign it to equal false. There we go. So at the moment their input is not valid. So while is valid equals equals false, I could equally put is not true, but I'm going to put is false. Well, and then I set my end while. Well, what am I going to do in here? Well, I'm going to get their name from them, and I'm going to get their name from an input, and I'm just going to say, enter your name. So, so far, I've just collected it, but there's really nothing for it to, um, to actually assess at that point, and I just realised I needed to put my talking marks inside that bracket, so let me fix that up there. Right, they've entered their name. Well, now I'm going to check something. I'm going to say if name equals equals mark, then, and in here I've got a hole, my if is sitting within my while. And so I have another indent there because it's further, it's both in the while and it's in the if. So if they say it, their name is Mark, then I'm actually going to change that boolean is valid, and I'm going to say that that now equals true. So just to run through the logic of this, 
we start off with is valid is false. Now, while is valid is false, well, at the moment, it is false. So we go right ahead into here. We get their name and they type in Kevin. I test if name equals Mark. Well, it doesn't, so we don't do this line. We get to the end and say, well, is valid still false? Well, yeah, it is. So we go back into here. First line again. Enter your name. They enter some name that isn't Mark. Again, doesn't pass this test. And so it doesn't run this line of code that changes the Boolean. But finally, when I do type in Mark, it passes this test, which then flips over the Boolean. And now it's no longer stuck in this loop and they can go on and do the rest of the program. So I hope that's been useful to you in terms of how we can use a Boolean with a, will, with a while condition, uh, particularly to verify, um, to keep somebody doing something until they get it right.